Have you ever noticed how, when you can't stop thinking about someone, they suddenly call or text you out of nowhere? It's like, out of the blue, your phone lights up, and there they are. How does that even happen? Maybe it's happened to you with a friend you haven't talked to in ages, or even someone you thought was too busy to reach out. It's one of those moments that feels almost too real to be a coincidence, like the universe is responding to your thoughts directly. And that's the magic we're talking about today. The power of your mind and how it can pull things into your life in ways you may have never imagined. November 11 is one of those rare powerful days. It's known as the 11 elements, portal a time when the energy for manifestation is supercharged. You have noticed that when you see 11 elements you close your eyes and pray or make a wish. Maybe you've noticed others doing it too and wondered why. It's because 1111 and especially the date 11 elements is seen as a powerful moment, almost like having a direct line to the universe. You may have heard of numerology, and in numerology, the number 11 is more than just a lucky number. It's thought to be a bridge between our world and something bigger, spiritual realm full of possibility. Think of it as a cosmic doorway opening up just for you, inviting you to focus on what you want and make it real. So, let's jump into how you can use this special energy to start bringing those dreams into your life. November 11 is like having a cosmic hotline straight to the universe. Across ancient cultures and in numerology, the number 11 isn't just a number. It's known as a bridge between our everyday world and the spiritual realm. It's like tuning into the clearest radio signal you've ever had on this day. Your intentions can come through loud and clear. Imagine you're standing under a clear night sky, focusing on a wish or goal you've held onto for a while. On 11 elements, that wish has an extra boost. When you use the right rituals, it's as if you're dialing up the universe and saying, this is what I truly want. What's especially unique this year is that November lines up with Diwali, a festival that celebrates Lakshmi, the goddess of prosperity and abundance in Hindu culture. And Diwali is a blend of feminine and masculine energies. Just like the union that brings new life, when the feminine energy of the moon aligns with the masculine energy of the sun, it creates a special energy for new beginnings. So, what could be the best time to manifest your dream other than November 11, the ultimate 11 elements portal? Listen very carefully, because this time is all about focusing on your goals, tapping into the high energy vibrations, and manifesting the life you desire. Plus, a super new moon adds even more energy to the day, giving you an incredible window to attract abundance, strengthen relationships, spark creativity and let go of what's been holding you back. Think of it this way. Maybe you've been wanting to reconnect with an old friend, start a new project, or let go of a past hurt. On 11 Elevents, the universe's energy is ready to support you in these things, aligning with higher energies to help bring them into reality. This number 11 holds special meaning in so many cultures because it connects us to the universe in a way that makes things feel possible, even the things we thought were just dreams. Not just that, the number 11 carries a special meaning, connecting both our everyday world and the spiritual realm. That's why, if you're into spirituality or manifestation, you might notice certain numbers like 1111 or 111 appearing often in your life. It's not just a random coincidence, it's what we call synchronicity, a little sign that you're on the right path and that something bigger is guiding you. For example, have you ever been thinking about a particular goal or a big decision, and suddenly you see 1111 on the clock? Or maybe you keep hearing the same line in a song everywhere you go, almost like the universe is trying to get a message through to you. During this time, the line between the spiritual world and our own feels thinner, making it an ideal moment to focus on what you truly want. Keeping your energy high during the 11 elements portal is crucial because it's a time when whatever you focus on gets amplified. 
One of the best ways to raise your vibration is by practicing gratitude. This lets you connect deeply with the universe and makes it much easier to attract what you're hoping for. Think of it as a time to get the universe's full attention. Here's a free step ritual you can try on 11 elements to make the most of this energy. It's simple but very powerful. And if you're able, try doing it at 11 11 a.m. or 11 11 p.m. for that extra boost. Step one is a five minute breathing meditation. The goal here is to slow down and center yourself. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and feel the air filling your lungs. Then exhale slowly, noticing the air as it leaves your body. Repeat this for a few minutes, letting each breath bring you fully into the present. Think about a time you felt completely calm and focused, like sitting outside on a peaceful morning, just taking in the quiet. This kind of breathing creates that same calm, open state, which is perfect for setting your intentions. After you're feeling centered, it's time for step two, gratitude. Take out a piece of paper and write down 11 things you're genuinely thankful for. It could be anything in good health, a friend who always supports you, or even something as simple as your favorite cozy blanket. Here's a real-life example to show how powerful this can be. I know someone who was feeling stuck in their career, but instead of focusing on what they didn't have, they started writing down what they were grateful for, like their steady income, supportive co-workers, and new skills they were learning. Not long after, new job offers started coming in, and they were able to move into a role that fit them perfectly. When you feel true appreciation, it raises your vibration, and the universe responds by saying, I see your gratitude. Let me send you more. Being in a high vibrational state is like being on the same wavelength as your dreams. When you're grateful, your energy lifts, and you start to attract positive high-energy experiences. So take this time to connect, feel thankful, and trust that you're bringing yourself one step closer to your goals. All right, now let's talk about the third step. This is where you get to be super specific about what you want. Grab a piece of paper and write down 11 things you truly wish to manifest in the next 11 months. These can be any goals, desires, or dreams that your heart longs for. What's important here is to write them as if you already have them. Instead of saying, I want to be in better shape, write, I am feeling stronger and healthier every day. Let me give you a real-life example. A few years ago, I wanted to travel more, but I wasn't sure how to make it happen. So, I wrote down, I am traveling to three new countries this year. I didn't just write it, I felt the excitement of being there, exploring new places, and experiencing different cultures. I didn't know how it would happen, but I trusted the process. Now, this step is all about being crystal clear. The more specific you are about what you want, the better. And when you feel that joy, that excitement, like it's already happening, you're creating the energy the universe needs to respond. But remember, it's not just about writing things down. You also have to take action. If you want to run your own business, start by researching or networking. Take one small step toward that goal each day. The number 11 amplifies your desires and helps align them with the universe. It's like having a direct line to the cosmos. So, write down your 11 desires, feel them like they're already here, and then start making moves to bring them to life. I hope this ritual helps you start manifesting your dreams. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and share in the comments what you're manifesting. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video.